quite possibly the most popular accessory that you can use with the data light is the DP 1.1 and the DP 2.1 projectors. To be honest, any of these lights, they all have projection systems. You just need to figure out which one works with your light head, but they are all quite easily the most uh, accessible and the most powerful of accessories that you can use on a Ditto light. Here's why they're so special. They can give you absolute resolution, perfect light and shadow out of images, and we're gonna demo that right now for you so you can take a look. So uh, starting with this DP 1.1, uh, if you have one for your classic size head, it will easily work with the new uh, DL87 or the DL84 because they are the same size head. They take the same size accessories, so you don't need to buy new accessories to move over to the world of LED here in Ditto Light. I love to tell people to make sure that they use their light shield ring. Um, it's one of those things that people don't think about that much, but it is a wonderful tool to uh, manage light. Uh, it, it really cuts down on any possible light leaking, and it allows you to just gracefully slide all of your data light accessories right into the accessory slot and move on with your life. So I'm going to turn it on right now, my favorite thing to do with the dado light, of course. I'm going to focus a light in order to get, you know, a nice even beam there for my projection. And uh, using the universal slot here, it's a spring-loaded slot, I'm going to take a M-size gobo with an M-size gobo holder from dado light. You're going to need to get one of these in order to use your M-size gobos. And I'm going to slide it into the accessory slot here, and I've got my gobo. Now, there are a few pieces on a DP 1.1 and 2.1. Really, they're across the board for all of the different Ditto light projectors. You have a lens holder here, and you have a tightening knob that you can move the lens holder. As you can see, my image is getting more in focus and out of focus by pulling the lens holder. Or I can tighten that up, and I can loosen the front lens, and you can pull the front lens in order to get the same type of effect softening or focusing. Now here is why the data light projection system is so powerful. This is really the only light projection system that you can get absolute resolution on your shapes. The edges are perfectly in focus. There are no chromatic aberrations. As you can see here, I've got no shifting of color. Uh, it is extremely clean. And uh, I have fine artists who do um, a lot of art installations and use this system in particular just because of the cleanliness of the light. So pulling focus with the lens or with the lens holder. And if you want to, maybe you find that the shape is too big, too small, you can actually change out the front lens. So you do that by just loosening up the lens taking out the lens. This is an 85 millimeter lens and I'm gonna go with a 50 millimeter lens which is gonna make our image larger. Again, I need to pull the lens holder in order to get that into focus. You're always gonna to need to do that depending on how big your lens is and where it is in relation to your subject. Sometimes you may need to flood the light out a little bit to get as much of the image in as necessary. And that's how you use the DP 1.1. So that was a gobo. Now this is a effects glass filter uh, from Dato Light. Uh, there are maybe 12 or 13 different uh, colors and uh, textures. They're dichroic glass uh, filters that are a few millimeters thick, but I use this to show you how really cool uh, you can get these uh, incredible backgrounds in such a short amount of time. But also how accurate and how, um, how precise the focal plane is in one of these projectors because this thing is only a couple millimeters thick and I'm pulling the lens through it and you can see that it's actually putting certain parts, certain textures of the uneven textured glass in focus and out of focus at the same time and that is because of the precise nature of the focal plane using a data light projector. If you're using a DP 1.1 uh, and you have loose leaf shutters you can use that as well. You can actually stack them in order to cut light from certain places in either a gobo or an effects, a piece of effects glass like this. Uh, and you can stack loose leaf shutters, shim stock. Um, you can get really creative with what you can do as long as you can fit it into the universal slot. Uh, I love to use irises. A lot of people in the tabletop world love to use irises. And this is the projector that you would want to uh, use in order to get a uh, an, an 18 leaf iris accessory. So this is an animation iris. You can step through the different um, uh, uh, radii or 
uh, you can get one that isn't an animation and it's just a smooth um, iris. Again, you can get that in perfect resolution if you want to because the data light projection system allows you to do that. This is a very powerful data light tool. It is a very useful accessory and if you haven't used one before, start using it and you'll see why it can change the way you light uh, your uh, subjects. The DP2.1 it functions the same way, okay? You have a lens holder, you have a front lens, it slides right into the accessory slot just like everything. And I wanna show you this because this really does detail how fine uh, the, um, the image resolution is. There are no projection systems that you can get that can do uh, tricks like this. This is the only system in the world that allows you to do this. Perfect resolution, as narrow as I want to as small as I want to. I could light the, the head of a match if I want to. So that's a data light projection system, best in the world. Mm -hmm.